Okay. <laughs> Time. Hello, judges. When I found an excellent coffee, I sometimes think baristas are like photographers. Please look at the photos. Same subject, but totally different, don't you think? Just as great photo requires a photographer's knowledge and skill, barista are very similar because how and which potentials of the coffee to extract is very important. My theme today is focus. Let me begin by putting some thought to cool down for signature drink. For my espresso course, I use Colombia El Diviso Lactic Processed Sidra. The coffee was roasted to 59% uh, DTR and aged for five days. Now first, let's have an espresso and gather attention on how to adjust focus. There is a black box on your right side, okay? Please take it in your hand, please, and hold it in your nose. You'll find the aroma of rose and grape of this coffee. These are the aroma from the peak of this coffee. And I prepared this sample because I think it's so important to have a clear image of the coffee at its best when roasting and Extracting coffee. Please look at that cylinder in front of you. It gives you an image of the length of the finish in the aftertaste. Excuse me, you can see green bean falls down very slowly through the cylinder. Please take a green bean and put it into the cylinder and imagine a long finish, please. Next, let's experience a tactile. Please pick up the brown bag in front of you. The weight of the bag represents the weight of the coffee. Now, feel material. This represents round texture. And soft texture, you feel when you squeeze the bag, represents creamy texture. Please put it, ah, okay. Extraction technique is key with this espresso machine. The initial surge of hot water is strong, making it easier to extract flavors, but slightly difficult to extract tactile. Please look at the board. So I increase dosing to 22 grams to decrease head space and the weekend's initial surge of hot water to create a pre-infusion effect and enhance coffee texture. The flavors of the espresso are very similar to the armor in the black box. Grape, rose, and nectarine. For tactile, you'll find the same as you experience with the back, medium weight, round and creamy texture, with a long, sweet finish. 
Please put the spoon back after using it. Ten minutes remaining. Okay. Please enjoy espresso. Please put the spoon back after using it. Enjoy. Enjoy. Enjoy espresso. Okay. Are you ready for the next course? For my milk beverage, let's focus on something new. Japanese sake is popular alcohol that is made from fermenting rice. My milk today uses rice milk. It's also made from rice. It was broken down and emulsified by enzymes. It brings a sweetness and texture just like sake. My coffee is geisha from Cervasur in Colombia. Process is Napoleon. The coffee is put into a tank with cherries for seven days anaerobic fermentation. It has complex and strong fermentation and alcohol flavor. The coffee is roasted to 15% DTR and aged for seven days. To take advantage of the fermentation flavors and create synergy with rice milk. The flavors for my milk beverage are chocolate mousse, panna cotta. As it cools down, you find the whiskey. And my milk today is custom brand, made of one part rice milk to two parts 70% freeze distillation milk. The unique sweetness and texture of the rice milk combined with the fermentation flavor to bring a smooth and sweet taste. And the aftertaste, is present and long-lasting mild sweetness from the harmony of rice milk and Napoleon. This Napoleon is a coffee with strong weight and flavor. Enjoy. Yes, this coffee is the reason why we could parcel synergy with this rice milk, which was inspired by sake. Enjoy. And rice milk is very healthy. Natural sweetness from rice, easy to drink, yet high in fiber and low in fat. It's so healthy, enjoy. I say the focus for the milk beverage is something new. That's just exactly why I consider not only the taste, but because it's healthy. Okay, enjoy. Here is the rice milk I use. Please take a look after your beverage. Please take a look after your beverage.
Okay. Are you ready for the next course? Okay. The last course is a signature drink. Please look at this. Change focus, and you will see many flowers in the background. Okay? Yes, the focus of our signature beverage is a hidden flavor. There is a hidden passion fruit flavor in this coffee, which I tasted when cupping this coffee. Please look at the board. Now, let's experience the lactic process right here on stage. The lactic process uses fermentation to transform malic acid into more mild lactic acid in the coffee. I was inspired by this fermentation process to bring out new flavors by using two key ingredients in front of you, apokoji and lactic acid bacteria in the form of kefir grain. Now, let's combine the ingredients. First, four shots of espresso. Cool down for this signature drink. It's the same recipe as my espresso course. Next, I hope for you 18 grams of apple koji paste and 160 grams kefir water. Apple koji paste works like malic acid you find in coffee. I made this paste two parts or apple juice and one part rice koji. Heat it at 60 degrees Celsius and ferment it for six hours. And kefir water will work like lactic acid bacteria in the process. This is made from one part kefir grain with two parts brown sugar and 10 parts water then fermented at room temperature for two days. And these combined these together, we have lacto fermentation syrup. By adding this, we can apply lactic process to the extracted coffee. Okay? Then, we put in 80 gram grape syrup. We add this to give the drink flavors that go well with the grape flavor we found in the El Divisor's espresso. And the most important purpose is to add sugars needed for fermentation. I made this by boiling down two parts red grape and one part water and one part sugar for 30 minutes. Now I'm bring this all together the using the nitrogen dispenser. It will be like applying short-term lactic process. To complete the drink, I add the aroma from the hops to this grass. The hops I'm using is a variety called Sabro, which has tropical fruits aroma. Just add this to this grass and strong grape flavor signature. We'll now show us the hidden flavor of passion fruits. My signature drink is cold drink. The flavors for my signature beverage are passion fruits, pink grapefruit, Mandarin orange and GABA. And the aftertaste is juicy sweetness of passion fruits. Okay. Now, let me add the aroma from the hops. My theme today was focus. A taste of a drink can change in many ways, depending on where, what you focus on, and where you direct your attention. Please enjoy aroma before drink it. Enjoy, please. Please enjoy aroma before drink it. Enjoy, enjoy. Thank you. Time. And that was Toshio-san representing Japan.